Our Tech Studio produces very high quality, high resolution models from the raw scan data. For example, the Sumo character that I have here, if I double click on my Fusion, I'm looking at right about 580,000 polygons. That's a lot of polygons for some programs. Uh, some programs may handle that fine, but others will not. So our Tech Studio has some built-in mesh simplification algorithms to reduce the mesh to a usable quantity for other programs. Let's look at the first option, just regular mesh simplification. There are a couple stop conditions underneath mesh simplification. So the first one is accuracy. This is what you want to use if you don't really care about how long it takes to simplify the mesh, but you want the most accurate reduction of that mesh. So if I click accuracy and then adjust this error, this is the acceptable uh, deviation right here from its current state. So in this case, it's set to 0 0.01 millimeters or 10 microns. So that will, that will say it will reduce the mesh as much as possible until it has to start moving points more than 0 0.01 millimeters and then it will stop. This is the most accurate way to reduce your model. That's great for mechanical models or anywhere where you want to keep that accuracy. It does take a little longer though. Remesh, remesh is the fastest mesh simplification option. It's also going to be the least accurate and probably give you the worst results. Of, of most things, but it is very fast and um, very easy. So you can see right there, a lot of faceting there, but it reduced my mesh to 81,000 polygons in a very short amount of time. I'm going to click undo and we'll go back to mesh simplification. So we looked at remesh. Triangle quantity is pretty common. Um, if you want a very specific triangle quantity, right? So you have a program that accepts maybe only 200,000 polygon models, right? That's the max that program accepts. So you don't really have an option to reduce by accuracy. You're going to have to just chop it off at 200,000 polygons and run it there. And then the other two options, UV triangle quantity and UV vertex quantity. These are the same as triangle quantity where you specify either a triangle quantity or, or a point vertex quantity here. Um, the, the difference is that you're not going to lose your texture when you run these. So that's really good if you apply your texture at the, on the high resolution model and then maybe you want to do a couple different levels of detail as far as the geometry goes and not have to retexture every single time. That'll keep your high quality texture um, over top of a low quality model or, or a low poly count model is what I should say. So those are great for, for things like that. All right, so that's regular mesh simplification. Fast mesh simplification is exactly what it sounds like. It's faster than the triangle quantity option up here, or, and it's faster than accuracy, though it's not as fast as remesh, but it will do a better job than remesh. So I'm going to say, you know, I'll put in 200,000 polygons, click apply, and it's very quick, and it's done. Again, your texture data does disappear, so if you want to keep that, again, you can go back and run one of these UV triangle quantity or UV vertex quantity options. The fast mesh simplification option does not reduce small details as, as well as the triangle quantity stop condition up here in normal mesh simplification. So if you have a model, specifically a spider model, where you do want to reduce to a specific amount, or a specific quantity you don't necessarily want to reduce by accuracy, then it may be better to use the mesh simplification um, stop condition in, under regular mesh simplification rather than use fast mesh simplification if you really want to keep um, those fine details. And that's something you can experiment with by duplicating models and just reducing a couple different ways till you get the best results. And those are the mesh simplification options within our tech studio.